Uh, one of the big flips that's taking place in our time is the changeover from the eye to the ear. And uh, most of us, having grown up in a visual world, are now suddenly confronted with the problems of living in an acoustic world, uh, which is, in effect, a world of simultaneous information. The visual, the visual world has very peculiar properties, and the acoustic world has quite different properties. The visual world, which belongs to the old 19th century, and which uh, had been around for quite a while, say from the 16th century anyway. Uh, the visual world has the properties of being a sort of continuous and connected and homogeneous, all parts more or less alike, and static. Things stayed put. If you had a point of view, that stayed put. The acoustic world, which is the electric world of simultaneity, has no continuity, no homogeneity, no connections, and no stasis. Everything is changing. So that's quite a big shift. I mean, to move from one of those worlds to the other is a, a very big shift. It's, it's, it's the same shift that Alice in Wonderland made to know in, when she went through the uh, looking glass. She moved out of the visual world into the acoustic world when she went through the looking glass. So it's helpful to know the origins of the alphabet and of civilization and rationality in that sense because we have come in the 20th century to the end of that road. And it's a considerable revolution to have been through 2,500 years of phonetic literacy, only to encounter the end of the road.